Podcast. I'm Kareem. I'm Shaddai. And this is Think Twice Podcast. Twice for the two, baby. Y'all make sure y'all like and subscribe to the channel. Our channel is growing. Thanks to y'all. It's not us. We appreciate the love. We keep on grinding. We ain't got the big bag yet, but we getting up, We getting baby. to it. You know what I'm saying? So, that. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep coming to talk to our you. Keep talking to our family. You know what I'm saying? Our loved ones and people that want to hear these stories that we have about New Orleans back in the G. And for every story we tell, we always make sure to make y'all know that there's a message and something for you to listen to and take from every time we tell one of these stories. Not just glorifying street shit. Right. But when we talk about knowledge and other things, nobody comes to view. Right. So we give our viewers what they want. They want to hear the street stories. We got them for y'all. Now, this story right here, is, it comes from a guy that we used to get down with, you know what I'm saying, who we looked at a very close friend of ours, a good homeboy, you know what I'm saying, Dooney. Off 4th Street. Not Red Black and Hot Pepper Boy. Red and Hot Pepper Boy off 4th Street. You know what I'm saying? And, and our section of the Mac News, the LD, had a close tie with 4th Street. Right. You know what I'm saying? Everybody be fucking on 4th Street. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Dave, Dooney, Reese, Reese, uh, Lil Will, R.I.P. Uh, Mookie, his brother. Yeah. Fred, Fred. Fred. Rest in peace, Red. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. A lot of dudes off 4th Street we get on with. Eugene, mm -hmm. Elliot, Moon, mm -hmm. Moon, you know. 4th Street original, you know, yeah. real, real stand up. And it's a real hood. A lot, a lot of things went, on, went down on 4th Street, man. A lot of real dudes from over there. Hot Bees was from 4th Street. Yeah. He's an official Magnolia. I, can, I ain't trying to take that from him, but originally that's where he's from and he's respected around there. But anyway, make a long story short, our stories are sometimes about the Magnolia, Melf, Cali, or St. Thomas, but we got to give props to other places that's not in the project also. That's just as reputable. That's just as reputable, like the whole Josephine Street. Right. 3rd and G. Right. Philip and Clara. The right home. Six and B. You know, Daniel. The second and D. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 12 walk, Battle Street, all the way from the old, the money side and the murder side. All them dudes, man, you know, they do the same thing we do in the project. They're just not the projects. And they don't get the notoriety, but we from uptown. We're going to yeah. tell you what we know about. Yeah. It. You know yeah. what I mean? Most definitely. Yeah, but doing it, you know what I'm saying? All right, P, man, one of the homies, man. He was a very charismatic brother. Mm -hmm. That dude was funny. You know what I'm saying? Ladies, man. Ladies, man. He was kind of that line. He was kind of, yeah, he's slinging that line, but he was weird and eclectic. You know what I'm saying? Like, I remember mean, one time he went and got the Egyptian eye tattooed on his neck. Yeah. Right here, by his throat. That. And that was before we was conscious. We didn't know a, a lot about that, what that was. He said, what that is doing? He said, yeah, Tunisian Egyptian eye. That means I'm always watching niggas. I laugh. I can see niggas coming. Yeah. But you know, but he was so official to where him, Dave, Reese, and the dudes off 4th Street, they were on the pack. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? With us, hustling with us. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you had to be a reputable, real motherfucker to get on with us because. People that came scope, they're going to test you and see what you're about. Yeah, they're going to definitely do that. The boys about all that. Anything yeah. you got the project was about, the boys on 4th Street was about that too. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Dead D. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? R.I.P. Uh, Lemon. R.I.P. Uh, man, look, a lot of people, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Victor Newman. You did. Yeah, Victor. R.I.P. Uh, Big Jessica, man. Yeah, certainly. Um, whoever we miss, I'm sorry, but we talking about particular doing it. Particular yeah, we didn't mean to miss y'all. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is with 4th Street and LD. For sure. Right. For sure. Right. So uh, after Katrina happened, you know, everybody kind of got like separated. We kind of lost ways and parts, ways with each other. Mm -hmm. But we came home one time. I think it could have been like 2010. We used to come home all the nine, time. 11, something like that. I don't remember exactly what year it was. But Dooney pulled up on us. And we were on the porch just talking, just running it. You know Smoking. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Talking about old times, hustling. Laughing. Laughing. You talking know? about bras. You know, that's what dudes do. You know what I'm saying? But he, he, was, he started crying and telling us a story about how him and his partners had hit a lick. And when they was in the house, you know, trying to get the dude to tell him where it's at, he picked the baby up and put the gun in the baby's mouth and made the dude tell him where it was at. I didn't appreciate that. I didn't agree with that. But he felt like that's how he was living at that time. He kind of got on his ass about yeah, that. Yeah, we got to like, man, you don't want to do nothing to no baby, man. I won't go do I said, man, you still, you don't rock yeah, like that. You don't rock like that. Well, that's just, that's, that's just bad business, man. You don't do nothing like that. But he yeah. had tears in his eyes. He did feel bad about it. He was just like, man, nigga going to kill me out here, dog. So we was trying to get him to come out here to Houston with us. You, you know, know like, man, they're going to kill me out your dog. And he had real, like, the expression on his face was like, he was so emotionally hurt and distraught. You know what I mean? He felt it. He felt his, he he, felt, he he felt felt his demise. It. Certainly. Certainly. You know what I'm saying? I was like, man, I stood up. I was smoking. I, mean, I said, man, I said, man, you tripping, man. Stop talking like that. Talking that old crazy ass shit. Man, I said, bitch, come to Houston with us, man. Go get your bag. Yeah. I got you. You, you got to bring nothing. Said, come on. Come to Houston with us. We got, we got you. Get from down here. He was like, no, I'm going to come. I got to take, take care of a few things and... Whoop, 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 whoop. And my P.O. saying, I say, man, look, I'll, I'll write a little to you, P.O., man. Come to Houston. Get from down here, bro. Yeah. We try to persuade him to leave to come to Texas with us. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit. 
two years, two days later after we left, man, we got that phone call, man. That nigga to kill. We man. had left New Orleans. We had left New Orleans on whatever day it was. We left New Orleans. I know two days later they called us and told us that Dune had got killed. Yeah, he got killed with a nail in Washington, riding a pedal bike. Mm -hmm. He did. Uh, he battled addiction a little bit, but he had bounced back from that. And uh, he, he was my dog, man. Like I have friends that that, that use drugs, own drugs, right. robbers, murderers, right, right, right. You know, all type of friends. You know what See, I'm saying? And the crazy thing about it is, the guy that 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 allegedly killed him was a guy he used to speak very well on, a little young younger dude from his hood that raised him. That raised him. He introduced us to the dude. This is my my little partner, who's the wop. Da, 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 da. We won't say his name out of yeah. respect for his family, but yeah. the moral of the story is. You know, he's resting in peace too. Right. The moral of the story is these streets that y'all think is everything is cool and you know, so gangster and real in, it's wicked. The streets don't love nobody, bro. Yeah. They, they love you when you're in them. Well, it's fake love when you're in them, but the streets don't love you, bro. Get out this shit. Get Do out, something else. Get out, bro. Do something else. You got to. I ain't say get up in the morning and say, you know what? I ain't doing this shit no more. But put in your mind that I have to do something else with my life. Stop preparing yourself to do something else. Right, because we lost a whole lot, bro. Even if that means changing your environment. Don't right. be afraid to pick up and move, man. If you want to get your kids out of the environment, you want yourself out of the environment, because we already know how it is when you're trying to change you constantly in that environment. Yeah, it's, it's almost hard. impossible. It's hard. That's why I try to get my dust, man. Come with us, man. Just get your bag. Bro. Yeah. Just get your bag. Yeah. And I just keep getting, get, getting that vision in my head of them crying. Some nigga going to kill me out your dog. I swear, I just know it. I thought he was tripping, but he must have felt it. He felt it. You know what I'm he saying? He knew it. He felt it, dog. But, uh, I mean, it's other situations, but we had family members and friends. We tried to get persuaded to come out here, and they wouldn't come and get caught up in the getting caught up in the streets. Soon after we made that uh, invitation, invitation to, them. to them, they got killed right after that. Right? You know what I mean? So, so listen, man. Listen, ain't nothing wrong with change, bro. A life without change is a wasted life. Right? You did. Right? Ain't nothing wrong with changing your environment, changing the people you be around. Look, if they real and you, you're your real loved ones. Y'all gonna stay in contact. Right? If not, hey. It's like the people passing by in your life that you met and you know. And there's a lot of real ones on 4th Street. And if I forgot y'all name, man, y'all forgive me. But y'all know what it is again, man. Y'all know what it is, and man. love and respect, man. Yeah. A lot of that. Yeah. You know, on 4th Street. That's the homies. Mm -hmm. We go out there and kick it with them. They come in and kick it with us. Right. Right. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we got beef. They got beef. Shout out to my dog, Booby, too, man. I was in the Marines with that boy from off 4th Street. That's how small this world is. Right. A right. guy who was in the Marine Corps away from, from off 4th Street. That's and I didn't know him until we went to the military. When he said he was off fourth, we didn't believe him. Yeah, we didn't believe him. Like, I never seen you. He said, I never I seen y'all. We laughed and we laughed and said, like, yeah. Come to find out he really from there. His family from over there, man. Right. You did. So y'all take the lesson out of this, man, and learn that, you know, you can grow with people, man, and that don't mean that they got your best interests at hand. Matter of fact, the motherfucker that do you something first is somebody, somebody that, you know. that know you. I grew up with you. That's just statistically a fact. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to have a stranger that do something to somebody. So we dropped three street stories, man. We hope there's a message we can get to y'all, get the, get y'all to understand and reach y'all to let y'all know, hey, these dudes been here before, man. They telling these stories, but they letting y'all know there's a message in every story they tell. Right. You right. Did? Right. No doubt. We better get up out of here, man. Y'all like, y'all subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for supporting us the way y'all have, man. Hey, and it's growing. Y'all growing with us. Appreciate the love. Peace. Peace.